Hello everyone. Welcome to this session. In this session, we will talk about speed. In our daily life, we use the word speed. But when we use the word speed, what do you understand by it? We are getting that how much faster or slower body is moving. Or if we are talking about a machine, how fast or slow machine is working, we can identify. Here, I have shown a picture in which athletes are running on track. But how do we declare a winner? Very good. A winner is one who covers a assigned distance in least amount of time. You must have seen this instrument which we are using in vehicles where we can record the speed of vehicle, how faster or how slower vehicle is moving. Here, right now it is shown 200. It means that a vehicle is moving with the speed of 200 km per hour. So, how to define speed? We can define speed as speed is the rate of change of distance or speed is the amount of distance covered in a unit time. Mathematically, we can write as speed equals to distance upon time. Unit of speed. Speed is physical quantity that we can measure and we can represent in the form of numbers also. Here, SI unit of distance is meter and symbolically we can represent meter as small letter m. SI unit of time is second and we can represent symbolically by small letter s. SI unit of speed is meter per second and symbolically we can write as m oblique s. We can read it as meter per second. As we have discussed, speed is equal to distance upon time. So on the basis of this formula, we can derive distance and time formula. These three formulas are very important to solve numerical problems. So remember, speed is equal to distance upon time. Therefore, distance is equal to speed into time and time is equal to distance upon speed. It's time to cross-check your knowledge. On the basis of your previous knowledge, you are now able to solve these numerical problems. The first question is given as a car covers 160 km in 4 hours what is the speed of car? This type of problem you can solve very easily. Here, the given quantities we have to write properly. See, the car, a car covers 160 km, the distance is given, distance is equal to 160 km, and time required to cover this 160 km distance to a car is 4 hours. So time is 4 hours, distance is 160 km. And we are calculating here now speed. So as we know, speed is equal to distance upon time. So put up the values of distance and time in given formula. So therefore speed is equal to 160 upon 4 so speed is equals to 40 kilometer per hour. 
in your final answer do not forget to write unit it's very important to write your answer with magnitude means numerical value as well as formula as well as unit so here speed is equals to 40 km per hour we have another question a train departed from place a and traveled 750 km to reach place b if it is if its speed was 250 km per hour how much time did it take to reach place b so in this question write down the given quantities total distance is 750 km so distance is equal to 750 km speed is given 250 km per hour so speed is equal to 250 km per hour as we know the speed is equal to distance upon time therefore time is equal to distance upon speed putting the values in this equation then time is equal to distance is 750 and speed is 250 so time is equal to 750 upon 250 therefore time is equal to t hours keep practicing this uh, this type of questions these type of numericals are generally asked in exam so just recall the points which we have discussed today we discussed about speed can you define speed? Very good. Speed is rate of change of distance. Formula, speed is equal to distance upon time. Whereas, we can write distance is equal to speed into time. Also, we can write as time is equal to distance upon speed. On the basis of this today's session, here you have to complete table in which you have to write, I have given here physical quantities like speed, distance and time. You have to complete this table in this way. You have to write symbol of this physical quantity, then unit of this physical quantity, then how to represent such units by symbol and what is the equation of this physical quantity. So pause this video and try to complete this table. I hope your answer will be the same as I have shown in this table. Here, the physical quantity is speed. Symbolically, we are representing speed by V. Unit of speed is meter per second. Symbolically, we are representing meter per second as M oblique S. Equation of speed is V is equals to D by T, where V is speed, D is distance, T is time. Another physical quantity is distance. Symbolically, we are representing this physical quantity by small letter d. Unit of distance is meter. Symbolically, we are representing meter by small letter m. Equation for distance is distance is equal to v into t. And last physical quantity was given to you is time. Symbolically, we are representing time by small letter t. Unit of time is second. We are representing second by small letter s. And equation is t is equals to d by v, where t is time, d is distance, and v is speed. Sometimes v is we are using for velocity so do not get confused in speed and velocity in your higher classes you will be learn about velocity you will be learning about velocity so students 
we will stop here today thank you